Hi, I'm Michael from Collins Communications, and I'm going to demonstrate how the Brightsign ecosystem can provide a consumer experience in a retail environment. Here we have a Bluefin touchscreen monitor with a built-in Brightsign player, which is controlling these Nexmosphere interactive elements built in to this impact display made kiosk, and all the content and programming on the player was done by Collins Communications. Now I'm going to show you the functionality of this kiosk. First, an attract loop is playing, which will attract the consumer to come to the kiosk. And once they come in front and trigger the present sensor underneath the bottom shelf, an informational call to action video will play, giving them some information about the product. And they will have an option to pick one of three roasts. Once they select a roast type, those products will be highlighted on the shelves. And another informational video will play. At the end of this video, they will have a selection screen and they can learn more about a specific product and that product will be highlighted on the shelves below. In the center of the call to action screen, we have a hidden feature which will allow you to see the metrics collected by the built-in Brightside player. On the top, we show how many times a product was selected and on the bottom, the play count of each of the videos. This information can be collected by the Brightside network and is useful for analyzing the popularity of products as well as measuring the conversion rate. Here we have a Bluefin monitor with a built-in Brightsign player which is controlling these Nexmosphere elements such as RFIDs and LED lights which are built into this impact displays made kiosk with content and programming on the screen by Collins Communications. I'm going to demonstrate the functionality of this kiosk. First, an attract loop is playing to attract consumers to the kiosk. Once they trigger the present sensor, a call to action will play. And when they pick up a product with an RFID tag on it, it will play a video for that product as well as highlight it on this shelf. Once they return the product to the shelf, the call to action video will play again. Because this kiosk uses RFID technology, the antennas can be programmed to play the correct video when the product is picked up, even if they change location on the shelves. The cosmetic side of the kiosk has a gender recognition camera by Nexmosphere. This can be used to detect gender and age within a confidence interval and be programmed to display different content based on the result. To activate the hidden gender detection demo, touch the right side of the screen and have someone stand in front of the camera. The center of the call to action video has a hidden feature which will show the metrics collected by the built-in bright sign player, such as pickup count for each of the products, detection of genders, and play count for each of the videos. This information is useful for analyzing the popularity of products as well as measuring the conversion rate in a retail environment. If you touch the top right corner of the screen, you can see a hidden presentation about the execution of this kiosk, including the scope, target audience, concept, treatment, hardware used, display, including drawings from impact displays, content, and programming by Collins Communications with decision trees for both the cosmetic and the coffee side, information about the metrics with example screenshots, and finally the execution.